Okay, we're still recording here. Simple demonstration of Linz's law. And again, I say because it's bound to come up in 2012, we need to be familiar with a couple of different demonstrations. If it asks you for a demonstration of Linz's law, you can give any of the following. Alternatively, however, it could give you the demonstration and ask you to explain what's going on. So we're going to do a very different demonstration and explain what's happening. First of all, I've got two pieces of metal, one of which is magnetic and one isn't. To show which one is magnetic and which one isn't, put that against the metal core, nothing happening, put this against the metal core, and this one is definitely magnetic. So I drop the first piece of metal down through a tube. It's got an opening down here so you can see what's happening. So Devon, you can focus on that. Yeah. So I'm just going to drop it down, three, two, one, it's going to fall down at a normal rate and just straight down the bottom. Three, two, one, no big deal whatsoever, one of the least impressive demonstrations you have seen and that's saying something. The second one, however, same dimensions, in this case, only difference is it's magnetic. But here's the point, copper is not magnetic, so there should be no effect between the two of them whatsoever. I drop a piece of magnet down to a copper wire, three, two, one. And there it comes out the road. So in an exam, you'll be asked to explain what happens, which is it travels much more slowly. The second thing more important is why does it travel more slowly? Colour, over to you. Um, <laughs> twist the camera. Because um, I can't remember. No. <laughs> Wait, Richard. Um, there's a current induced in the... What's the first thing that gets induced? Uh, EMF. EMF is induced, which induces a current. Which Why does it induce a current? It will only induce a current <laughs> if, uh, if you've got a complete circuit. So you've, got, of you've got a complete circuit, therefore the EMF induces a current. Now, and take then me that um, has that current has its own magnetic field associated with it, which <laughs> <laughs> which <laughs> produces its own EMF, which produces its own magnetic field. The first thing they got induced, let's come back to this, just close the door there, please. So this is important, when we put this on the tape, three things happen. The first thing that happens is it induces an EMF. An EMF will only induce a current if you've got a complete circuit, okay? So like a normal current will only happen if you've got a complete circuit. So the first thing that gets induced <coughs> is an EMF. What do we know about the direction of the EMF? Opposed. It will oppose the first one. But for right now, we're not interested in that. That induces a current, or that is a current associated with it. The current has got what associated with it? A magnetic field. And what do we know about the direction of the magnetic field? It will always oppose the first guy. Okay? So here, what you're doing is you're inducing a magnetic field. You're inducing an EMF. The EMF has got a current. current has got a magnetic field. That magnetic field associated with this, even though it's not magnetic, it becomes, acts like a tiny magnet because there's a current going through it, and that opposes the first current going through it. Okay? This can get asked on an exam. Let's